Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the ultimate guide for SCUM in 2023 for SCUM 0.95. And yes, this series, I'm going to listen to all your feedback from all the other guides. I've got about 7,000 hours plus in SCUM, so I hope I can take you guys as smoothly through your journey as possible. And the first thing that we're going to start with is the character creation, okay? Now, 0.95 has got a lot of benefits for new players, which I will show you in the video after this. Um, but for now, as you can see here, strength is the physical power of a person typically measured by how much you can push, pull, and lift a physical object. It is raised by proper protein intake, execute and executing actions under load it is lowered by protein deficiency and loss of muscle mass it influences your carry weight melee damage and calorie burning okay so there's a lot of things that strength influences guys that's not on the tips but of course you guys can get all the tips over here okay so first of all you choose your name at the top um, i'm going to give you the ultimate build for any server uh, but of course you can just pick whatever you want here we're gonna just um increase our pp size a little bit we're gonna give ourselves some chest there because we're gonna be a man and the guide will be taking place on live die repeat my new survival server the loot is 0 0.7 the puppet um multipliers are quite high okay so this will give me a challenge and it will teach you guys a lot about different challenges that you might face on official servers or other servers okay so next i always buy all the dlcs so because of the dlcs i've got 32 hairstyles to choose from and i think i'm gonna go with the tarzan look um for this one this is my that is my favorite one at the moment okay um, hairstyle number 19 is my favorite one but i think we're gonna go for tarzan okay i think there's a tarzan one over here i'm not sure where it is ah, i think that's the tarzan one or at least close to tarzan okay we're gonna give ourselves some blue eyes and we're gonna give ourselves a bit of a beard Okay, there we go. Nice, rough-looking Tarzan over there. And then, yes, ladies and gentlemen, the best build for you guys at this current moment is basically going to be melee weapons, running, um, thievery, and medical. Okay, the skills that we're going to focus on to level up in-game is our archery skill right from the start our stealth skill and our survival skill okay and then when once we build a base or bef once we put a flag down we're going to focus on our engineering skill so that is the perfect build for the current update if you're struggling with a bow please please start with advanced archery okay if you're struggling with a bow please start with advanced archery let's go Here we are. Every time you spawn onto the island or after you've died, you will be skydiving like this, okay? With your hands behind your back. You can press M to open up the map to see where you are, okay? And what I always suggest is for if you don't have anything and you're not, you don't want to go back to your body because a player killed you, it's very good to look for an uh, open area where there's bushes, um, where there won't be a lot of players okay like that is the that is the shooting range over there so for now i'm just going to land over here press f to open up your parachute okay and i'm just going to land close to bushes over here okay so that i'm not close to any players or anything like that and yeah hairstyle isn't too bad so, first thing that you do when you land is you press tab and you right click on your bank card and you destroy your bank card because that bank card doesn't have a pin on it 
So if you get, if you sell stuff and you put the money in your ba bank account and they get your card, they can just empty your bank account. At the bank, you will get a classic card and a gold card. The classic card can give you up to one PIN number. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to make it so that they can only guess once instead of three times. And then the gold card has two, a two combo um, combination, which, ne which means there can be over, over 100 combinations. But once again on the gold card, I'll show you how to leave them with one guess as well. Now, a lot of change in the 0.95 update. The big thing is when you go to options, then they've got the survival tips, which I have got on off. Okay, but I'll put them on. Um, there's beginner tips, there's intermediate tips, there's expert tips. I don't really need any tips, but we're going to put it on beginner. Okay, so then tips will pop up there on your right hand side. See a, medi see a medical conditions detail in the health bar by pressing shift Q. So we're going to go shift Q. Okay, and then it takes us directly to our health screen. Okay, up here you've got um, seven tabs, your inventory. Okay, what is in your vicinity and what you have on you. Crafting is your crafting menu. Health gives you your health menu. Metabolism gives you the intricate details. The manual is what we're going to cover in the next video. Then you can create a squad and then you've got the events. Okay, seeing how much um, fame people have and stuff like that. And on my servers, you can't do events. But if you play on a server that you can do events, doing events repeatedly to get easy fame is a good idea. We just don't allow it on our servers because my community is more survival based and um, yeah, not so much PvP based. So there, a quicker start, open the codex in the manual, okay? So it's just going to pop up a bunch of tips for you guys that's going to help you guys a lot. What I want you guys to focus on right at the beginning, I'm just going to put this to 2.6 so it looks a little bit nicer, is the crafting menu. Now, the old crafting menu was some could say it was a little bit easier some could say it was a little bit more difficult but at the top you've got all categories then you've got your favorites then you've got your currently craftable that depends on what resource you have around you okay if you've got resources around you to craft something for instance if i search the rock and i get two rocks it will tell me what i can craft with the items underneath me okay so so i can craft a stone knife so this is very, very nice if you are getting the resource to craft something and you don't want to go look for what you want to craft. You just know you've got what you need to craft that specific item. So we're going to take this, right click, and put it in our hands. If we go to this rock pile, we get two more rocks and now we're going to craft a stone, a small stone axe head. Okay, so this tab over here will help you a lot. So that you don't get confused with where the items is that you have to craft, okay? So again, going to go to inventory, right click, take in hands, and you can double click to put something in your inventory, and you can double click to put, take something out of your inventory, okay? And just a little nice little quick tip there. Then we're going to cut down this bush with a stone knife. And then from this bush, we got... Three small sticks and one long stick, so we're very, very, very lucky. Most of the time, you just get one long stick and three small sticks. So we will, we this one bush will give us everything we need. We want to craft the rope after this, and it takes five small sticks to craft the rope. So once again, if we go to this tab, it shows us everything that we can craft with what we have underneath us. We can craft the improvised spear with the long stick. We can craft arrows with all the small sticks. We can craft the rope, fire drill, tinder, skewer, and a bundle of sticks. So we're going to click on the rope. Okay. Now that we have the rope and the stick and the small stone axe hidden in our inventory, it tells us we can craft the stone axe. And we just go on craft and we can craft the stone axe. So regarding the crafting menu, yes, you can go through all the tabs. There's a building tab as well. Okay. There's a building tab as well that has all items, favorited, flags, you know, modular elements, general base elements, storage, traps in the fence, utilities. So you've got all the com you know, you've got all the combinations. So if you don't know what it takes to craft something, then of course you have to go here, double click on it, 
put it down and then see what it takes. Or if you go to um, your items and you want to see, hey, what does it take to craft a bat with nails? It will take a bat and one nails. One bat, one nails, you craft a nailed bat. Okay? And then one does it, what does it take to craft a shotgun? It will take a duct tape, two small logs, which we have in our vicinity, two scrap metal, a metal pipe, two bolts, and a cutting tool. Okay? So, all depends on how you want to do it. What I like to do is, I like to add things to the favorites that I know I'm going to craft a lot. And because I love to enjoy a survival game, I die quite a lot, so I go through these processes quite a lot. Now, the stone knife and the, you know, the stone knife and the stone axe head is quite easy. I could just use the currently craftable systems. But what I'd like to do is I want to put this thing. I want to right-click on it and add it to favorites. That's your starting backpack. That's very, very important. I want to right-click on the improvised quiver. That's going to be very important at the start, okay? Then I want to craft a 20-pound bow every time I start. And then um, at some point, I want to craft a metal spear. So I want to right-click that and make that favorite. I'd like to wear some rag gloves just to protect my, my hands. And yeah, there's some arrows as well. Of course, we're going to need some arrows. Okay, so right-click on arrows, add to favorites. And now... When we go to favorites, instead of clicking on all these tabs, they have put it in the ranged assortment. So there is melee weapons. So there's melee weapons. Okay. Then we've got the ranged weapons and then we've got the clothing. Okay. But uh, we have sorted all of them into favorites so that it's very, very easy to get to them. Now, again, if you don't know what it takes to craft the backpack, which is your first thing that you need to craft, three rags um a rope and a cutting tool we have a cutting tool so we need three rags and a rope we know how to make um rope from a bush but because we crafted the axe this is going to be a little bit easier okay so we're just going to run to a tree or jog to a tree because i am playing on a dangerous server so i have to look out for the puppets going to come to the tree press f you start cutting the tree once I have cut down the tree, the tree will give me logs and a tree branch. The logs we can cut up into planks and the tree branch we can cut up into sticks. And since sticks is very important for us at the start, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to take the branch from our vicinity and use our big window over here to move it. Okay. And then we're going to move again, press tab. Now we're going to hold left click on the tree branch and we're going to mouse scroll wheel to turn it because the sticks are going to go in the direction of this little weird stick sticking out here. We're going to hold F, chop tree branch. Okay, and now you guys can see because of that tree branch, we've got a bunch of long sticks and here at the end, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 small sticks okay that's why i love cutting the tree branch into sticks because i don't have to go chop a bunch of bushes and stuff like that and now we can just go to what's in our vicinity and i want to craft two ropes okay we've got our two ropes in our vicinity on the ground but of course we need that backpack and we know for the backpack it said we need three rags so now we're going to cut up our clothing right click on our clothing not the clothing that takes inventory space, just the other clothing that you see doesn't have inventory space. So we're going to go on our undershirt, cut it into rags. Okay, from the undershirt, we're getting two, one rag strip and two rags. So we're going to cut up something else. Because I've got the, all the DLCs, I can use the willy warmer, but you guys can cut up your boxer briefs or your socks. So I'm going to cut up the willy warmer. And the willy warmer is going to give me the three rags that I need. Okay, to craft the backpack. But it looks like it's not putting it here in our in our options here. So then we just have to go see what we're missing here. So there it is. We can clearly craft it. But when we go to um, currently craftable, it does. Oh, there it, is. there it is. Okay, so if you don't see the item, just go click on another tab. Go click on that tab. And then we can craft our improvised career backpack. Okay. Once we are finished with our backpack, again, you can double click on the item to put it 
you know, to equip it. You can double click on it to get it off you. And then here at the second bar, you can double click on it just to see the inventory. This is very useful for when, you, when you've killed someone and you've looted them, all their items will show up here. And you can just double click, you know, you can just double click on all their items to quickly see what loot you want and what, what loot you don't want. But we're just going to double click to equip it right now. And we're going to see if we can get lucky with a quiver, but a quiver needs three rags as well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to craft that 20 pound improvised bow. And after we have crafted the 20 pound improvised bow, we're going to double click on it again to equip it. And now we need at least, at least, you can craft more, but I usually go for 12. You can go up to 24 if you want to, but I want at least 12. So if I right click on a long stick and I cut it up into small sticks, it should give me three short sticks, which tells me that I need to cut up at least three of the long sticks into short sticks. Okay, there you go. We got three. So I'm just going to cut up the other two into small sticks as well. And now comes another great part of the update. You can go again to just the items that you can craft. Now we're going to craft arrows, but we don't want to just craft one arrow. We want to craft multiple arrows. The way we do that is we use the auto craft function. Okay, and this is just the details, what you need to craft an arrow. But if we go to the arrow and we click auto craft, we can tab, press tab and the, our little guy is just going to keep crafting the arrows until he doesn't have any more resource to craft arrows. And if we want to stop him crafting the arrows or cra repeatedly crafting what he's crafting, we can just go and click on this little circle and stop him. Okay, but I'm going to allow him to craft all the small sticks into arrows. And then I'm just going to double click on all the arrows to put it there into my backpack. And apparently we still need, we still need more arrows. So I'm going to cut this up because clearly my calculations were incorrect. All of you were listening to me going three times three is nine, not 12. So yes, I apologize about that, but we're going to click again and let him just craft the three other arrows with auto craft. Okay, and now the three arrows, now we've got an extra arrow, but when we, when we go to first person, and what I do, because first person is basically on my enter key, I go to controls, I navigate to modes, and then I change the change camera to my side mouse button, and I change focus mode to my side mouse button, so that I can change between third person and first person very quickly, and so that I can use the other mouse button to use focus mode, okay? But once we, in first person, we click two to equip our bow, he is going to equip one arrow in any case, so I can just put that arrow there, and now I'm using less inventory space. So this is basically your starting kit, okay? And if we are lucky enough, we can get three rags from the, from the underpants and the socks, but what I'm rather going to do is I want to be close to a bush. Now, while you're in combat mode, you can press V to exit combat mode. Now you see we're further away from the character, and you can press V again to equip the arrow. So now we're closer in combat mode. Okay, so you can always unequip the arrow if you want to, but I'm going to equip the arrow, go back into first person, and I can use the focus mode to try and listen for a puppet. Okay, so there, there's a puppet. I'm going to pull back the bow, try and hit him in the chest because that's the biggest area on him or her. And three arrows should kill her. Okay, going to grab my three arrows. Going to press F on the puppet. And hopefully the puppet will be able to give us clothing. Okay, just gave us gloves. Okay. We can't cut up, we can cut up the hat into rags. So let's cut up the hat quickly into rags. And we hear another puppet in any case. Okay, so that gave us two rags. I'm sure this other puppet is going to give us rags as well. But we're going to attack this puppet with our axe. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to let the puppet, we're going to come to the puppet, we're going to press left mouse button, and then back away, left mouse button, back away, okay, 
left mouse button, back away, or left mouse button turn, left mouse button turn, left mouse button turn, left mouse button. Okay, so either hit and back away or hit 45 degrees, hit 45 degrees, hit 45 degrees. Okay, now we're gonna search this puppet just to stay out of their out of their hit range. This puppet didn't give us clothing, so that was very unlucky. But because we got the two rags already, I know the underpants is going to give me a rag. Okay, the, the underpants only actually gave me two rags, so that's fine. I'm going to cut this up into rag strips because for the gloves, I'm sure I, I just need rag strips, y'all. We can use rags or rag strips, okay? So hopefully this rag gives me two rag strips. I just like the way it looks, okay? So I'm gonna craft the the cool the cool gloves for myself. Looks really really cool. Always like to enjoy myself. Oh, that was a mistake, guys. That was a mistake. I let the game decide what it wanted to use. Okay, instead of telling it what to use, so it used the rags instead of the rag strips. But if I clicked, if I clicked on the two rag strips and I right clicked. And I said craft rag gloves, it would have used these two rag strips. So if you highlight the items and that you want to use to craft something and then right click and craft, it will use the items that you stalled it to use. Okay? So now it used the wrong items. So we're going to have to try our luck with our socks. Okay, luckily the, <laughs> luckily the underpants gave us two rags. So now finally we can... Um, we can get the sticks, okay? We, if we go to favorites, we want this quiver. For the quiver, we need one long stick, a rope, and then five rags, apparently. Okay, I even got that wrong. <laughs> okay, so apparently it just wants one long stick. Let's just go to the crafting again. It just wants one long stick, five rags, and a rope. Okay, so we're just going to cut up this bush as well. Because we need three more short sticks for a rope. And hopefully we will be able to find find another puppet. Okay, so we're going to cut this up into small sticks, the long stick, and then craft the rope. Okay, so with our rope and our axe, we are on our way to go look for more puppets to craft that quiver just to have more inventory space. But there will be mushrooms in the area. And I know what mushroom is what, but for now, all you're going to focus on is if you hover over the mushroom, if there's no red text, you can eat it. And this mushroom is going to give you 73 milliliters of water and 2.6 grams of carbs and 2.5 grams of protein. So this mushroom is good. All you can do is hold control over to see more info on it about the vitamins and minerals. All you must know is that if you pick up a mushroom and it's got any red text, you don't touch it. If it doesn't have red text, then you can eat it, okay? And you need a mushroom for, um, like, cooking vegetable, you know, making a vegetable skewer. So now, because we ate that mushroom, you will see that our water intake is increasing, okay? The mushroom is giving us some water, um, and that will help us, because your body only needs about 400 milliliters to get maxed out. We dropped our axe because we were triple carrying, so we're going to equip the, the bow so that we keep the long stick on us. And what we're going to do now is this orange spot over here is where we can find, like, um, tents, okay? So what we're going to do is we, we're going to walk this way. Just going to run a little bit to see which way our dot is going on the screen because on the map I can see here's open clearing with trees. So I'm just trying to run towards those trees and over the open clearing. Hopefully we get a puppet or two. But, and hopefully we get some clothing. So I'm just looking at my dot because I don't have a compass at the moment. But we will sort that out later. The survival skill gives you automatic compass. So we're just going to run and hopefully see a puppet because live, die, repeat is a survival server with increased puppet encounters and horde encounters. And now I'm just going to start jogging because I'm close to where I want to be. And because I know where my dot moved, I'm moving my dot now to that orange, to the orange. 
Okay, which is usually means a house or tents or something. So we're just gonna jog and just now and then hold in our focus mode to see if we can hear anything. As soon as we see a puppet or a player, we wanna click left click to equip the bow. Uh, and we must be very, very close to the tents right now. Here we go. Here's the sandbags. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is come and look at these tents. Hopefully it gives us some kind of clothing. There we go. We get a helmet, which is cool. And we can cut this up into rags. The hat only gave us one rag, but I'm sure our luck isn't over yet. The This, this server is on a 0 0.7 loot multiplier. So again, we're not going to find loot easily, but we will find it at some point. So we're going to come in here, press tab. And again, here's something to chop up. You can use this for, you can use clean rags. Like if you cut up a piece of clothing that has a dirtiness level of below 50%, you will be able to purify it with strong alcohol, like whiskey or something like that. But we're just going to cut up the, the hat again. And there we go. We've got our extra rag that we wanted. And there we can craft the quiver now. Okay. So. We are going to double click on the quiver. We're going to put the arrows in our quiver to have more inventory space. And now we're not triple carrying anymore. But we want to start looking at a metal spear or a metal sword. Okay. So if we go to the crafting menu, we can type in metal. Metal. And I can add the metal sword to my favorites as well. So when we go to uh, favorites... The metal sword is going to take two scrap metal, two rubber bands, two rope, and a toolbox that we can craft. But the metal spear is going to be much easier. That's just two, um, let's just see, is it just long sticks? Yeah, two long sticks, one scrap metal, one rope, and a cutting tool. So we prefer to use a spear above an axe, although I did show you that an axe can work. Okay, and we hear puppets again, but now we're not really interested in that. We're getting a bigger backpack here. If we if we look at this, this is two, three. So this is three by three. When we put, put on this backpack, this is two, three. It's giving us more slots. Okay, guys? It's giving us more slots. Um, then this backpack, and we will be able to repair this backpack. So there's nothing in here. This is a bit of cool drink, but it's a little bit old. But we can use this bottle for water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it in my hands. <coughs> And then I'm going to go to my inventory, right click on the bottle. I can drink this cool drink, but I'm going to spill it because when we get to a water source, we can fill the two liter bottle with clean water. Okay. And I'm going to keep spilling it. I'm going to keep trying to spill it until I can't spill it anymore. And if you look at the map, the, the water in the rivers, all the waters inland you can use. You can't use the waters in the ocean. Okay. You can't use the ocean water. So there we go. Um, just want to make sure we got everything here. And pre I'm just pressing tab to see everything in my inventory or in my vicinity. There's a puppet there. but I can hear a puppet, but the only time I'm fearing a puppet is when this comes on. Um, this here. This, you see where my mouse is? This eye here. That eye will light up if a puppet can see me. Okay? And then then I'll worry about him. I'm not worrying about him just yet. Okay, and you can use your shortcut keys to get to the inventory and stuff like that. And we're almost done here. I'm not going to fight a puppet if I don't need to, if I don't have a reason. I do have a reason. I can level up my archery. But we're going to search this place quickly. Everything that has a search option, you can search. Um, the open containers you usually can't search, but you can always try and look inside them. And here we got, we got nice military boots. That's fantastic. It's 10 times better than the boots that we have, and it gives us extra inventory space. <clears throat> and we're just going to search absolutely everything here. Chocolate is nice for carbs, so we're going to keep the chocolate on us. And then we're going to search this, and we're going to search this. The drum magazine we can sell. <clears throat> it's used for an RPK. We can use it to sell um, that item, okay? And that's basically it, guys. We've got the starting gear, okay? The starting gear is basically the quiver and the, you know, and the bow and the axe, and it's going to be easy to craft the, the spear. 
But yeah, I'll be back with you guys tomorrow when there's daylight again. I'd like to find a bed to sleep in, although if you, if you look here, you have exhaustion that gets worse and worse if you don't go and sleep in a bed. Now, I don't think this place has a bed. If I look around me, there's a little farm town here to my left. So I'm going to quickly go look for a bed there, and I'll be back now. Okay, there's two puppets behind us. And I don't have a lot of stamina. So I just want to get over rocks here to hurt them or to slow them down. And then I want to turn around um, to make sure I get rid of them. And if you shoot them in the head, <clears throat> you can kill them immediately. But yeah, I ran through the forest there. You guys can jog through the forest. I attracted a little bit more puppets there than I wanted to attract. But you guys can jog through the forest, take it slower. Um, I'm just very good with the bow. You guys can learn how to use a bow. And I want to search the puppets because they can give me screwdrivers um, or nice clothing that I can always repair later, okay? Like uh, tactical military pants is nice to repair later. But I'm going to take it slow now. And I ran until I only had 20% stamina left. So that put me in danger. When you run, you will see here on your stamina bar, here on your stamina bar, that once you eat 30, the number will go red, okay? Which tells you you never really want to go below um, 30%. But here's a nice uh, pickup truck that we can build up later. But all I'm going to do is I'm going to get into the house. See what's here. There's an apple here, so I'm going to eat the apple so long for nice carbs and water. And because this is the end of this session, we're going to hover over a bed and we're going to rest. So that next time we come into the game, that we are not struggling with exhaustion. Okay? Right there at the health tab, that exhaustion is recovering now. When you have a long playing session, your exhaustion will cause you to have less and less stamina and it will get very irritating after a while. So this is what you do every time you want to log out. You either sleep in a bed in a house or you craft a bed for yourself and you sleep. But in any case, guys, if you enjoyed this um, part one of the ultimate um, guide for Scum in 2020, 2023, please click the like button. And like always, if you want to see and learn everything there is to see and learn about Scum, then click the subscribe button. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. I stream every day um, on different servers and I will be starting to educate you guys on a daily basis and trying to keep the videos as short as I can. Have a great day and later. Keep surviving. Cheers.